What's up guys, it's back for a brand new video, and today I am here to show you guys how to completely max out your boots in 1.16 Minecraft. And before we begin, I want to say thank you guys for all the crazy support that's been going on here lately. I mean, 300 subscribers, that's crazy, that's a new milestone, and I'm thinking about doing some kind of weird montage thing, especially since then that school is over, I have a lot more free time, and I'll probably make some kind of like 300 subscriber special. If you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing, it would mean the world to me, and it motivates me to keep making more videos and entertaining you all. Also, a quick disclaimer before making this video, I want to say that the XP that I have does not matter. If you make an XP farm, you will be perfectly fine, you don't need 200,000 experience points. Also. I'm not sure what versions this work works in. If it works in Xbox, that's great. If it works on Bedrock, that's great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, I don't really know. I can't tell you for sure. I don't really play the other versions, so you'll have to fly solo with that one. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys do enjoy, and let's top straight into the video. Also, don't really mind the Alex skin. My internet went out and my account's not really connecting properly, so my skin is not working, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Also, a huge shout out to the people who told me in the comments how to do this properly. Okay, so to do this properly, you're probably gonna need quite a few things. You're gonna need an enchant table that can go up to 30 levels. This is very unnecessary. As long as you get enough bookcases for it to be 30 levels to enchant something in the enchantment table, you'll be fine. You will also need anvils, which this is also very unnecessary. You'll need like one or two at max. You'll also need a grindstone just in case. You'll need a smithing table so you can change your boots into netherite. And you will need a villager to get your books in the first place, or multiple villagers to get your books in the first place. To get the maxed out books, you are going to need to get a librarian villager, and you're going to need to get your maxed out books from there. Try to get as cheap as possible. I found that the best way, or I know the best way to get like cheap books, is if you turn the villager into a zombie villager and then heal it. That makes the prices even cheaper. It's crazy, like half the prices. So try to get as cheap as books as possible and make sure they're all maxed out. If you combine low level books at all, it will not work. Don't do it. Maxed out books from the start, okay? Hear that? Maxed out books from the start. Now over here are a few examples of the boots we will be making, and it's completely maxed out with every single enchant, plus it's renamed. So I'm showing you right here, it is possible, and I will show you right now. Now to do this, you are going to need every single type of enchant book, because when putting the boots into the enchant table, you're going to get some enchants, and you might not get others, so it's kind of random, and you're going to need every book just in case, like, you you need like prot or unbreaking or feather falling or whatever you don't get in the enchant table first. So what you're also going to need is you're going to need diamond boots, lapis, and probably a backup piece of gear just in case like your enchant table doesn't give you whatever you want first try. So we're going to put it in here and you're going to at least you're going to need at least one level and you're also going to want to make sure that you don't get like fire protection or blast protection on your boots. You don't want that at all. So that's what the grindstone is for. You put it back in. You unenchant, and this could take a while, and it is probably going to be a bit expensive. And this is probably going to take a while, I'm saying it right now. You're going to need to keep going back and forth until you get the right enchants. Like right here, no, you don't want this. You're going to want maxed out enchants on your boots. You're going to need at least one. And here we are, we have our maxed out, or not really maxed out boots. We have our boots with two maxed out enchants, which is absolutely amazing. Usually you get like one, but if you can get two, that's even better. Now what you're going to do is you're going to need to get every book that you don't already have on the boots, okay? You're also going to just throw away this because it's no longer necessary. Okay, so we have Unbreaking and Depth Strider. We no longer need Unbreaking and Depth Strider books, so we're going to get Thorns, Soul Speed, Feather Falling, No Unbreaking, No Depth Strider, Mending, and Protection. And unless you have all your books ready, what you want to do is you want to put the books on one at a time. As you can see here, just over and over again, until you have every single enchant on the boots. Plus, you can rename the boots if you want, really anything. You, plus, you can repair it, but that's not necessary since we have mending. And there you have it. An entirely maxed out pair of boots. And now what you want to do is you want to pull a pair of netherite. And by the way, you're going to want to make sure they're diamond boots when enchanting. Because it's easier to enchant diamond boots. For some reason, because Mojang likes to do things in mysterious ways. Don't worry about it. So now, this is what the smithing table is for. You make them to netherite. I'm going to go ahead and just rename them to, I don't know, one. And there you have it. A nice pair of maxed out boots with every single possible enchant on the boots. Unless you don't want that strider and you instead want frost walker, which who would want that? I'd rather walk really fast in the water than be able to run on top of the water. I think it's just more useful to have that strider. And there you have it. That is how you make very, very nice 
boots that are completely maxed out and by the way this tactic works with every single armor piece weapon anything this way of enchanting stuff just makes things a little cheaper anyways if you guys did enjoy them please hit that like button down below and leave a comment if i missed anything or if you have any questions i promise i'll try to get to them as quickly as possible but yeah that's it i hope you all have a nice wonderful safe day and i'll see you all in the next one peace